Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Jay Plays. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to 2022. Yes, um, we finally made it to 2022. I hope you guys had a great new year. And uh, yeah, I hope everyone's dreams are being fulfilled. And um, yeah, and today's video is going to be my favorite Pokemon of every type. So um, basically, um, the rules are, there shouldn't be any rules, but uh, just in case, the rules are, Let's say grass, I'm talking about grass. And then out of all the grass type Pokemon that exist until now, I choose one as my favorite Pokemon and I'll explain. But I won't be like, oh, the color of this score bunny is, uh, 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 the color of this orange score bunny matches its emotional state. Oh my goodness, beautiful. No, no, I'm just gonna be like, oh, this is a very cool Pokemon because I had a very, uh, maybe it's for nostalgia reasons or or something like that. And most Pokemon don't have an in-depth reason um, on why they're my favorite. It's just that maybe they have a cool design or or they have, they're just cute in my opinion. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And if the Pokemon has a dual type, let's let's take an example, Blaziken. Blaziken's a fire and fighting type. So. Let's say I'm talking about fire, and then I say Blaziken. So Blaziken will be um, the Pokemon that I really like from the fire type only. And then it's fighting type, I'll ignore. So I'll basically take one type from that Pokemon, if they're dual type, and then present it as if they're just one type. And then the fighting type, I'll just uh, say like, oh, my favorite is Lucario or Machamp and stuff like that. I hope you guys understand. And... Uh, yeah, uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel because as you can see from this graph here, only 30 something percent of you guys are watching me and not subscribed. Come on, hit that subscribe button down below. Um, and uh, yeah, make sure to leave a like on this video and do all that good stuff. And let's get into um, all my favorite Pokemon from each type. All right, my favorite Pokemon for the grass type is a pretty easy choice. It's Sceptile. Now Sceptile, um, as you can see right here, um, he's my favorite Pokemon because we just have a, like, the first time I've ever played a, um, a Pokemon game is actually from the Hoenn region, and you might be thinking, well, you don't have a Game Boy Advance, how do you play it? Well, I found this emulator online, and, uh, I kind of played, um, it, and I wasn't really that big into Pokemon back then, and, uh, I was just, I know the type matchups, but I don't really know the Pokemon, I don't really know. So I jumped into a random region, which I didn't even know was the Hoenn region. And then uh, yeah, I was just playing it, and then the first time I looked at all three starters, which, by the way, Hoenn starters are are the best. I don't care what anyone says. Trico, Torchic, uh, Mudkip, all the best starters. They have all Mega Evolutions, very strong Pokemon, and they're just the best. So anyway, um, I didn't know I was in the Hoenn region, I didn't know who these Pokemon are. And when I picked Trico, I don't know, I, I just had a connection with him. Whenever he fainted, I actually felt like I lost. Even though I had other Pokemon, like I felt like, oh no, Trico! It's like a Nuzlocke. If you guys don't know Nuzlocke, if a Pokemon dies, you're not allowed to use it again. That's how I treat Trico. And then eventually, when he evolves into Grovile and Sceptile, the the bond just becomes closer and closer and closer and closer. And in my opinion, he's the my favorite Grass type of all time. Seriously, I I don't think anyone else can. Uh, take my love away from Sceptile. My friends might say, "Oh, Blaziken's better. Oh, Swampert's better." I don't get. I don't care. I just think Sceptile is the best. So, um, yeah, let's move on to um, the Fire type. All right. So my favorite Fire type um, of all time. You might be thinking, "Oh, it's Charizard." Well, Mister, and you might be skipping. It's like, okay, let's just skip the Fire type because we all know it's Charizard. Well, Mister, you will be very wrong as my favorite fire type is Talonflame. So I chose Talonflame for a few reasons. Number one, because of his design. I mean, look at it. It's, I don't know, in my opinion, uh, some people say it looks simple, but in my, in my opinion, it's the right kind of simple. You know what I mean? Like there's something, something about it. It's just making me want to you know, go towards it, you know, it wants me to make it a pet or something. And reason number two is um, in a spin-off game called Pokemon Brick, Bronze, and Roblox, um, I found a Fletchling, and then 
uh, I was like, I didn't really know what fletching evolves into. So then I'm like, you know what, just give it a chance. Then eventually evolved into Fletchlander. Then this thing. And now I'm like, whoa, this thing is so fast. It's so cool. And its ability Flame Body is even better. I'll put a description here uh, on what it is. Basically, it's like if you use a move like uh, it's a physical move, like Tackle or, or Pound or something like that, then you will get burned. You have a chance to get burned. And its hidden ability, Gale Wings, oh, gives priority moves to... Um, Flying type poke, uh, flying type moves is just the best. I know they nerfed it a little bit, which kind of sucks. Now it makes Town Flame a lot worse of a Pokemon. But keep in mind, this list is not about how strong the Pokemon is. It's based at totals. No, it's just their their um, connection with me. It's just their connection with me. And uh, yeah, my favorite Pokemon is Town Flame. No debate, no messing about. Town Flame is my number one uh, final bird Pokemon. All right, now let's move on to my uh, favorite um, electric type. Now, my favorite electric type um, used to be uh, Jolteon, um, but now I've narrowed it down to Luxray and Jolteon. So, um, the Pokemon that I have chosen for my favorite electric Pokemon, probably of all time, is, drumroll please, Luxray. So Luxray is my favorite Pokemon and um, he is my favorite Pokemon because uh, I had a friend. Um, his name is uh, Zikai. Zikai if you're watching this shout out to you. Um, he basically loved the Pokemon Luxray and then he showed me and I'm like what's so good about Luxray? I mean it's just an electric Pokemon. So then I did some research. I look at an image of him and I'm like, okay, he's pretty cool. And then uh, I uh, went into this uh, Pokemon Brick Bronze game, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, in Roblox. And then I found a Shinx and I didn't know what Shinx evolved into. And uh, I just decided, you know what, why not? Because I need an electric type. Then evolved into Luxio. And then I'm like, I swear I've heard Lux somewhere before. And then I couldn't put my finger on it, and I'm like, ah, maybe it's just some other movie that I watched or something. Then when eventually evolved the Luxray, I'm like, oh, it's this guy, this guy. And then, as soon as I kept on playing him, wow, wow, he has become one of my best electric types ever. I mean, obviously, I do still love other electric types like, like um, Toxtricity, uh, Jolteon. Electrovia, Magnezone, all that stuff. Um, I do love all those kind of Pokemon, but I think for me, Luxray is the best electric type Pokemon. So basically Luxray is my favorite uh, electric type Pokemon. So let's move on to ground. All right, now let's move on to the ground type. Now the ground type, I have narrowed it down to Nidoking and Torterra. And I don't really use one of these Pokemon I don't really use that much, but the other one I use quite a bit. But, I don't know, I just love both of these Pokemon. But, there can only be one winner, and that winner is... Nidoking! I had to choose Nidoking. Because, number one, is because uh, I had this emulator. Uh, I found an emulator on Google um to play pokemon fire and leaf green and i didn't really know the Kanto region i just knew like the pidgeot evolution line the starters uh wiggly uh sorry wiggly tough jigglypuff and all the basic pokemon there uh just a few of them not a lot and then um i found a nidoran male and i find it weird that it's called nidoran male like i already know you're a male because there's little the little male um icon i guess and then um and then after that, uh, I just evolved into Nidorino. And I'm like, whoa, is this the final evolution? And then I didn't know. So I didn't, I didn't want to check. I just want to surprise myself. You know what I mean? <sighs> I evolved it to level 36. <laughs> level 36. And then I'm like, oh, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to um, look it up. And I realized that I needed to use the Moonstone on it. <laughs> Yeah, I needed to use a Moonstone, and then it would eventually evolve into Nidoking. It was super over level. So I destroyed Misty, destroyed Erika, even destroyed Koga, actually, with it. Obviously, I leveled it up more for Koga, 
Um, but yeah, I destroyed those gyms and and then when he destroyed all three gyms and I realized, I'm like, whoa, okay. And then same deal with Trico, whenever he died and um, I wasn't like, oh my God, like that. I was just like, oh man, it's kind of like the same thing, but not as like, how do I say it? Like not so into it, if you know what I mean. So. So then, uh, but then whenever he survived, I'm like, uh, like he, there's a water pulse. Okay, let's say I'm like, ah, oh, he's dead. And I look, he survived. Oh my god! And then when he one shots the uh, the Pokemon that he's fighting, oh, I just feel so happy. I just want to feed him like a a, a a citrus berry or something for his hard work. And yeah, Nido King is just an amazing Pokemon because, you know, he's just an amazing Pokemon. He's strong. He's not that fast, but. I don't really care. He can tank pretty well and his design. He looks like Godzilla. That's why the first ever time I, I saw Nido King, I nicknamed him Godzilla. I mean, I know um, Tyranitar is based on Godzilla, but I, he just looks like Godzilla, okay? Just let me nickname my Pokemon whatever I want. So yeah, I just named it Godzilla and oh my God, he was so good. And I had to pick him. I had to pick him. So yeah, Nido King is my favorite ground type and I am so mad that he did not get a mega evolution. He deserves one, even Nido Queen. Nido Queen even deserves a mega evolution. But uh, yeah, uh, maybe in the future they will get mega evolutions, I don't know. So uh, yeah, that's my favorite ground type. Let's move on to fighting. All right, now we are at the fighting type Pokemon. So. For fighting type Pokemon, this is probably the hardest one out of them all because um, I love a lot of fighting type Pokemon. I like uh, Lucario, Primeape, um, Clobopus, and just many other fighting types. And I have narrowed it down to Lucario and uh, Grapplock. I love them both. But. There can only be one winner, and that has to be Graplock. Only because um, I've Lu I've used Lucario in the past before, in the, not in Pokemon Sword and Shield or in X and Y or whatever like that. Um, I used Lucario in um, this Pokemon Showdown um, fan-made game on Google. I used him before, but I don't really uh, like. I've seen Lucario a lot of times and. That doesn't mean I don't like him. I love Lucario, but I think um, Graplock has an edge because um, when I saw him, I was like, wow, wow, this Pokemon looks amazing. And obviously, Clobopus, as you can see here, so cute. It's, it's a little octopus. Uh, holding um, boxing gloves. It's just a tiny octopus with a uh, boxing glove. And then it evolves into this beast right here. This beast. This thing, this clubopus evolves into this. It's insane. I love its design with like the blue and the black and, and uh, instead of like normal boxing gloves or like really like buff muscles, it just kept uh, him as an octopus. And I also, I think he has like a hero, like a hero mask or something, which I also really like. And of course, we can't talk about Graplock without mentioning the shiny. This is probably the most beautiful shiny I've ever seen in my life. Look at it. It's gorgeous. From this, it looks already cool with the blue, the black, the yellow turns to this. Woo! It's amazing! And Graplock, in my opinion, is just a very, uh, very well-designed um, fighting type Pokemon. He might be one of my top 10 gallery designs. Hey, that's a new video idea. Maybe top 10 gallery designs, but that's... <laughs> sorry, sorry, off topic. Anyway, yeah, Graplock is just amazing. When Eventually, when I get to play him, I'll love him even more. But for right now, um, I just love him based on his design and Clobopus. Who, who doesn't love Clobopus? So anyway, let's move on uh, to water.
All right, guys, here we are uh, in the water section. Now, don't worry about these. I'm just listening to music over here because oh it's so God. stressful Who editing and, um, um, you know, recording without music. It's so, so difficult. So, um, yeah, this video, I'm going to do 10 types and then the remainder I'll do it in a part two um, because this video took so long to edit. I will show you guys all the editing I've done at the end of the video. Um, and, uh, yeah, I hope you guys please accept this apology so to speak and uh yeah so my favorite water type i've narrowed it down to sharpedo and greninja so the winner for the water type is gonna have to be the water dark type greninja it's gonna have to be greninja because come on he's a ninja He's a ninja. Ninjas are cool. And I don't know why, but look at him. I mean, just look at him. He's, he, I like his design, actually. Really like his design. And the thing that's under his nose, like this, like the little thing that goes around and then goes this way. I genuinely thought, I think many people have, genuinely thought that that was a scarf. It isn't. If I'm not mistaken, it's his tongue. Yeah. It's his tongue. It's his tongue. And his tongue must be really long. It goes like this and then like this and then like that. And oh my god. The shiny. Do I need to say more? Just take a look at it. Make your own damn reason. Go ahead. Make your own damn reason. Put it in the comments. Here, I'll give you guys a full view. There, make your own reason. And Ash Greninja, oh my god. Whoever watched the anime when Ash, um, I forgot when since it's been so long, when uh, Ash and Greninja were so, um, what's it called? Were, uh, had such a special bond that Ash is now Greninja. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. That's why that's one of the reasons why I love Greninja when a trainer and his Pokemon Fuses together in such a special bond. It was just amazing and whenever I see that episode I wish that was me, you know, like being in Greninja's shoes because he can see what Greninja is seeing It's so freaking cool and uh, Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I like uh, Greninja so much and the dark type that's actually a very, very good type. Water and dark, very nice. Very, very good typing. And the design is just amazing. It's a frog and a ninja, come on. Come on. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much my reasoning for Greninja. As uh, I already told you guys, there's no like in-depth reason that I like these Pokemon, only like a few. So uh, let's move on to, let's do Ghost. Ooh. All right, guys, here we are at the ghost section. And as you can see, a new day. It's a new day because this video took so long to do. And uh, yeah, um, my favorite ghost type, um, um, I narrowed it down to uh, Mega Gengar and uh, Golurk. And this was by far very difficult because both Pokemon has very sentimental value. As like Gengar, has won um, my Pokemon Brick Bronze Champion, like he beat the champion. Um, when he was the only one left and then he beat the champion. Whereas Golurk, um, he was usually that, that Pokemon that I'd bring out to tank a few hits uh, while I heal my Pokemon. But he, also, uh, he was also a strong Pokemon, so I didn't know who to choose. But obviously there can only be one winner. And I think I'm going to have to give the the spot to the ghost ground type Golurk. I'm gonna have to give it to Golurk because while I was considering who, I remember I had an action figure. We went to McDonald's and I bought like a Happy Meal and uh, I got a Pokemon, which is Golurk. And I didn't know Golurk was like, I didn't know his name. I didn't know the Pokemon's name at all. So I, I was, you know how he has like a little spiky thing on his shoulder? I like to scratch it so a little bit of the color is gone, it's like gray. 
But sadly, I lost it. I lost the action figure, which I loved because I used to sleep with it every night. But it's okay. It's okay. It doesn't matter anymore. And uh, yeah, Golug is just special. Ever since I saw it, I liked its design as well. And the shiny, it's um, not my most favorite shiny, but it's a pretty good shiny. I like the green and the 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 black and the brown. I like I like that. I think for a ghost ground type, it's a decent shiny. It's not like the best shiny in the world. Like it's not like uh, shiny graplock shiny. Uh, it's just it's just mid. It's a mid shiny. So yeah, that's my favorite uh, ghost type, um, Golik. And uh, let's move on to bug. All right, guys. Now we are at the bug type. Now this bug type, uh, in my opinion, um, wasn't that hard because there's not many cool bug types. But um, I think my favorite um, bug type has to be either Scizor or Golly Sopot. And both I really really love. Um, I've used Scizor before in Pokemon Showdown, and uh, Galiso Pod I've used a total about twice, but uh, both have actually very uh, sentimental value because Galiso Pod I love his design and his ability. Scizor I love just because um, I mean, I mean he's he has an amazing design and he's actually a very strong Pokemon, but obviously only one winner. Um, I think I'm going to have to give um, the win to the bug and steel type Sizzle. Now, I chose Sizzle because ever since I first laid eyes on him, eyes on him, like before this, the bug type, I'm not gonna lie, the designs I didn't really like. I didn't really like at all. Like, Parasect is okay. Like it's it's basically like a crab parasite is fine. It's not the worst thing in the in the world. And uh, what other bug types can I think about? Uh, that's all I can think of. <laughs> oh god! You see, I'm not a Pokemon nerd. If I if I if I was a Pokemon nerd, Pokemon nerd, then I would know more bug types. But uh, oh. Nah, <laughs> I was thinking of I was thinking of someone else, but then I forgot he's a rock type. So um, anyway, oh yeah, Heracross. Heracross is he's he's all right, but I didn't really like Heracross's design. I mean, I get what they were going for, but I didn't really like it. I didn't really like it. But uh, yeah, I have to give it to Scizor because I mean, look at him. Look at him. He's cool. He's really cool looking and. Honestly, one of my favorite, probably my top one favorite um, bug type designs. Everyone, uh, everyone in my school used to think that um, Scizor sucks, actually. But although he sucked, I still stuck with him, bro. I didn't, I didn't change my bug Aww. type at all. I kept it Scizor. And uh, when I used to play Pokemon Fire Red, um, uh, in the Pokemon, in the Celadon City department store, you could buy Scyther, and to this day, I buy Scyther just to get Scizor. I don't know if you can evolve, um, Scyther into Scizor. Maybe you can, but if, if can, I'll just put like a text here saying I can. But, uh, it's been so long since I played Fire Red, so, yeah, and let's just, can we talk about the Mega Form? Look, it's amazing. Look, look. It's amazing. And although the shiny is just green, it's like light green and then um, a little bit of less green. I don't really like this shiny. If only they gave it like some sort of like something like Graplox. Um, non shiny form, then maybe I would have liked it. Like maybe like some blue, and then uh, make his wings a little yellow. I don't know. I'm not a shiny designer, but what I do know is Scizor is my favorite uh, favorite um, bug type. The normal one, the mega one, and the shiny one. All all uh, all three forms of Scizor I love.
All right, guys, now we're at the dragon type. Now the dragon type, uh, I've narrowed it down to Mega Sceptile, um, Salamence, and Dragonite. Now, um, Mega Sceptile is immediately gone. It's immediately gone because I already talked about Sceptile. And I, I forgot that Sceptile had a Mega Evolution, so that's why I didn't talk about him in the grass section. But um, yeah, so it's between Salamence and Dragonite. And I think I'm going to have to give the award to um, the Dragon and Flying type, Salamence. Now, I chose Salamence because the first reason is because everyone chooses Dragonite. And I just find Salamence more interesting than Dragonite. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's Pokedex entry is the Dragon Pokemon. Of course, I mean, look at the thing. It's dragon. It's a dragon type Pokemon. And then it's the Pokedex entry is just the dragon Pokemon. What? And the second reason is it has a mega evolution. But as you can see here, I don't know. I don't like the mega evolution, you know? I, I mean, the wings just like the wings are now in like a straight line. I don't like it. I, I don't like it. I don't know why, I don't like the Mega Evolution, but I like the normal Salamence uh, because um, in Emerald, uh, in the the emulator that I found, I used the Salamence and oh my god, him dragon dancing and sweeping basically everything is just so good. Salamence, if you pair with Salamence, because Salamence is already a strong fast Pokemon, and if you pair him with Dragon Dance, you just created an ultimate weapon that you have in your possession. So. Um, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I had Salamence, and okay, I thought I had an action figure of him, but no. But uh, Salamence was actually the first ever dragon type that I've seen, um, that I've seen ever. Like not even dragon. I've that Salamence is the first dragon type that I've seen, and the shiny. Mm, I don't know. What do you guys think? I I. I like it about 40%. 40% I like it. It's not the most creative shiny I've ever seen, but I can appreciate uh, it for what it is, but I don't know. I, I think I don't really like it. I don't like the shiny, but maybe if they did like a red and maybe like a red, white, and blue design, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, But what I do know is I do love Salamence, and although I do love Dragonite as well, I think, in my opinion, um, Salamence is gonna have to be my favorite Dragon type. Now let's move on to the final type for this video, Flying. Alright guys, we are finally at the final type for this video. I'll be doing a part two, do not worry. Um, it's the Flying type. So when I was doing this, I was trying to do like a flying impression, but evidently I look stupid. Like, do I look stupid? <laughs> I think I do. Anyway, um, my favorite flying type is gonna have to be either Noivern or uh, Taylor. Swellow. Um, so I think I have to give it to Swellow. Um, the reason being is because um, I was kind of paranoid about the uh, like the Nido King story that I told you. I need to evolve it with a Moonstone. So I caught a few different swallows, and then to find a good nature, and then uh, eventually I found one, and then I evolved it to level. I uh, evolved it, leveled it up to level thirty something. Yes, level thirty one. Level thirty one. I evolved, uh, leveled it up. I keep saying evolve. So so then later, um, I was thinking, why is it not evolving? And then I realized my finger kept slipping on the button that makes the Pokemon don't evolve, like the the uh, button where. It, uh, if you press it, then it will make the Pokemon stop evolving. <laughs> I know, it's super dumb. I made a lot of mistakes when I was first starting Pokemon. But uh, yeah, I like Swellow because, uh, first of all, as soon as I figured out not to press the button, um, he was just a very strong, fast Pokemon. And the more and more I played with him, the more of a bond I got with him. And he was the first flying type. I've ever um, caught and used, even before Pidgeot. That's why I love the Hoenn region, because there's a lot of first, 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 first for me in that region. And because Sceptile is there, come on, I love Sceptile. So uh, yeah, that's my favorite flying type, and uh, let's move on to me saying my goodbyes.
all right guys that is going to be the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and sorry this video took so long and uh, if i'm not mistaken next next week wednesday uh, i have something to tell you nothing serious but let's just say 2022 has changed your boy has changed him for the better i think maybe i don't know but uh, yeah our, my next video for this week is just gonna be a road to champions video because i need a break and um oh yeah let me show you guys the editing in three two one Yep, that is all the editing that I have to do for about four days or so. But yeah, but this video is finally out. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. And until my next video, which is a Road to Champions video, see ya.